Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm just having a tidy up uh, hour or so at the moment. Probably sit longer than that. But yeah, I'm just going through um, everything that I left out from Halloween. Um, all the bits and pieces that I've been doing. And I thought I'd better start getting some of these put away. Otherwise I'm going to end up with one of those mammoth having to... Uh, kick down and put everything away and take about six hours so no i'm not gonna do that uh, just thought you might like to see my mum's birthday card that i made i'll put it that way around so it fits on the screen better look uh, it's the mrs tiggy winkle uh, card from craft buddy um i did done an unboxing on this whenever i got it uh it was one of the uh, seven inch by seven inch square cards which 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters and I've just cut it down to make it into a rectangle. I have this lovely pink uh, A3 size card, which I've folded to make into an A4. Um, I've had this border as well that I want, uh, that I had. I always cut happy birthdays and things off cards and uh, like cannibalise them really. You know, if anybody's had greetings cards, um, I always ask for the bits and pieces off them. Not quite so much anymore. Gosh, I've still got a lot of shadow at the moment. Even with these lights on, I've still not got them quite right. But I will keep playing. Um, yeah, I'll have to watch a YouTube video on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought that was really cute. And my mum absolutely loved it. But she doesn't really keep cards and things. So she always passes me them back. Um, so I can either reuse them. Um, or I do like to keep ones that I really like. Like this one. I do like to keep them. The only thing I wasn't keen on was the fact that the only uh, nice... <laughs> could find uh, that matched in has got bones on it but I thought oh, well hedgehogs eat dog food and things don't they so yeah she didn't notice because believe me if my mum had a notice she would have told me <laughs> she's uh, a very outspoken lady is my mum but uh, love it a bit so yeah that was just and then I just put uh, a greeting inside I always just do uh, an A3 piece of uh, nice quality paper and either print out a verse or, well, I don't write verses because, as you know, my handwriting is absolutely appalling. So, yeah, so that was my mum's birthday card. I think I might like to see it. Just thought I didn't do it on camera, did I? But again, it was another one that I did in a rush. Let me just see if we can get rid of these shadows a bit more. No, it's exceptionally dark outside. We have uh, a storm, Kieran. Kieran, I think it is. Um, yeah, and it's uh, leaving an awful lot of water everywhere. We've been lucky so far, fingers crossed. Um, Devon and the southeast of England have really got, had it really bad. Jersey uh, and around there have two. Um, yeah, one of the winds actually blew a car straight into um, the sea, so that wasn't very good. And somebody else's car moved from outside the house and got blown. And we don't really have tornadoes and things like that here. So, yeah, that was, um, yeah, not very good. And a lot of people um, have been exceptionally lucky in some of the things that are going on down there. So it is heading our way, but I think it's possibly blown itself out a little bit by the time it gets to us. So, yeah, but... Uh, we have um, a patio that we put down ourselves outside our back door and uh, yeah it has a little bit of a dip well at the moment that's Millie's swimming pool again so yeah great fun <laughs> and everything is exceptionally dark outside uh, it was raining all last night really raining hard and windy and everything it's doing reasonably okay this uh, sort of like early afternoon um and a little bit windy still but you know it, the sun was out we actually saw the sun goodness me and uh yeah so <laughs> it's not been very good right yeah it's uh, not been very good and now it's coming really really dark heavy clouds but we have put our clocks back we do our clocks a different uh, week to um usa i'm not sure about other countries but i know i've seen uh, on facebook and things that people have been saying about putting clocks back this weekend well we did ours last weekend so yeah it gets dark around half three four o'clock now so i really do need to get these lights right i'm not quite sure what i've done other years i must have just been doing them in the morning or something i don't know anyway so i'm going to start on the specials uh these are the gems left over from the 
Witch and these are the gems left over from the Trick or Treat Big Stickers. Uh, I did show them on my Halloween video which uh, you all seem to enjoy a little bit including who's <laughs> in the background. I didn't know he was going to do that. He just decided uh, as soon as I pressed play all of a sudden this noise started coming from his chair and being all ghostly so I thought that was quite funny as well so I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I did did make me laugh. <laughs> He's as crackers as I am. Anyway, let's have a look at these. Uh, my camera seems to have slipped down an awful lot, so let's see if we can get it up a little bit higher. All right, see where we are there. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, I'm thinking that's just that little bit higher so you can see what's going on. Right, I do need a tray. So... This is my special drill uh, storage. So this is for anything that is unusual, uh, bigger than a standard crystal. These are the smaller crystals, but anything that's bigger than that, I class as a large round and it goes in here and any of the special shapes and flowers and stars and all things like that. So, and I have them in colour order, silver, gold, blue, green whatever um, and I just literally when I get uh, kitting down I go through and put them away. I have a separate place for anything that's like a twinkler which is a crystal with an AB coating on it so it's really really sparkly and anything for Aurora Borealis coated ones which is the standard gems which have got an AB coating on them again uh, yeah and they just sparkle a little bit more as well. So I thought I better get these put away as I'm tidy enough. Um, yeah, it does look like an explosion in a diamond painting factory at the moment. Uh, I also need to start getting out um, all of my Christmassy things and all of the canvases that I need to start working on. Uh, yeah, I, I said exactly the same thing last year, but uh, I feel as though I need another month uh, adding on so that it's three months to Christmas, not two. <laughs> I just don't know where the time's gone and like I've got, uh, I've got friends with birthdays on the uh well in a I've got friends with birthdays in a week's time and yeah I bought canvases and things to do for their birthdays and I've not even started them yet ah! so they need to get done as well I just can't believe how time has flown people say it's a sign of getting older I think it's just I've got too much to do <laughs> <laughs> sticking to that story right so let's have a look at these gems i need to put them in order first i'll keep the little stickers that i've had on the drills and on the canvas and then they go into my little log book and um, if it's an actual canvas with edges that i cut off then they go into uh, my log book as well just to keep a, a sort of a check really on what i've done and i've filled about five or six books at the minute so uh, yeah, but I do actually put my special drill canvases in there as well. It's just so that if somebody says, you know, as I'm going through a video or I'm showing you what I've got on my walls or whatever, um, where did you get that from? I can say, ah, now then, <laughs> I'll just have a look through my book. So, yeah, and it is quite nice. You know, sometimes when you've got loads of canvases and you think, oh, I'm never going to get through these. It's sometimes nice just to look back through the ones that you've actually done and think, but I have already done a lot. So, yeah, that's maybe just me. Okay, so as I say, these are mainly left over from the key rings that I did. Uh, three full sets and I did actually find another set which are actually just skull heads this morning. And I believe I got those with some stickers. I found the stickers um, and I thought, oh, I'm not going to do the stickers because they were only small and I wasn't sure what to do with them at the moment. I think I was going to make them into coasters and then I thought, no, I'd sooner get my key rings done. Run out of time again. Where does time go? Goodness me. Uh, so yeah and then I thought, I thought I'm sure I've got more than this as I was decorating my tree and yeah I had um they were they'd slipped down underneath I keep all of my uh, special drill diamond paintings in my little storage boxes that I have that go in my Kallax unit from Ikea um so they're like a 30 by 30 material box and uh, yeah they'd slipped down underneath the others so as I'd flicked through them looking for them yeah, they were underneath and I found them this morning as I've been tidying up. Oh, go figure. Anyway, so right, we've got purple and silver. Stop waffling, Liz, and get on with the job at hand. Otherwise, this video will be eight hours long and you'll start hearing snoring in the background. Right, so that's that one. Okay, let's 
quite scary as well how many Christmas things I've got to do and there's something like eight weeks to Christmas well I actually want to be putting them up uh, pretty soon I've decided to leave all of my um, Halloween stuff up until bonfire night we celebrate at Guy Fawkes night bonfire night um, it's where they used to burn oh, they don't think they're white are they I think they're oh now then I might have to look at those in a different light um, yeah we have uh, November the 5th oh look <laughs> tell which ones these came from I don't know whether the camera will pick that up we've just got a little silhouette of a ghost there oh it's see through so it's a proper ghost <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we celebrate Bonfire Night, which is when they uh, burnt Guy Fawkes at the stake for treason. So we have uh, a Bonfire Night. And we never used to have trick or treat. When I was younger, we used to go around and do Penny for the Guy. And you used to either take a guy around with you or and we used to have turnips that would cut out a bigger turnip, not pumpkins. We didn't have pumpkins. And turnips are exceptionally hard and take an awful lot of cutting. Um, and we used to carve those out. And why are I putting these in order? Gold, white, gold. That's an AB, and that's a gold. Okay, and that's black, black and white down here. Um, yeah, so we want to, I'm sure I've said before, we want to dress my friend up as uh, the guy and took her around in a wheelbarrow and frightened everybody because she waved at them and they all jumped out the skin. Apart from one lady that was a bit mean and she said, oh, it's not a proper guy. You've not even put any effort into doing a guy. Um, I think she would be called a bit of Karen these days. <laughs> so we didn't get anything from her. And we used to get like odd sort of like copper change, you know, like pennies and twos and things. Uh, if you got a five pence or a ten pence, you were a millionaire in those days. Uh, so, yeah, and then we used to put all the money towards um, your fireworks for bonfire night. And then we all used to go around collecting wood to uh, build a big bonfire. And then we all had to take um, turns in guarding it because you could guarantee somebody else would come and set fire to it before bonfire night. And you'd end up with no firework. You'd end up with no bonfire. And uh, yeah, there were some mean people around. I think, mind you, there still is, to be fair. But yeah. So, mind you, one year they burnt our bonfire down. And because um, sort of all the adults around the area felt sorry for us, the bonfire ended up about four times the size that it originally was because they came and helped us. So that was really, really good. All right. Yeah, none of these have actually got uh, DMC numbers on so, or crystal code numbers on. So I will just be putting them away as they are. <sighs> I know one of these crystals and I thought I'm going to have to remember it. It was a diff slightly different colour to the others and they all look, oh, I don't know though, they look, they look like the proper crystals and they look like they've got a slightly different sheen on them. So I'm going to put those on one side. Hopefully I'll remember what they are. Right, let me get my jar out. It's a bigger jar now, look, with all my clear crystals in. Yes, I do a lot of special drill paintings and projects. Oh dear. I think the shadows are more because it is so dark. Um, yeah, and I've got the lights on in the bedroom as well. Um, well, my craft room, it's the bedroom still, really. Yeah, so it's a little bit dark and dismal today. Oops. And then these are my blacks. So let me get these put away in here. So, yeah, they're definitely black, aren't they? Yes, they are. Anyway, hope everybody's doing okay and that life is treating you kindly. Um, and big hugs to anybody that needs one right now. I know there's some people going through some tough things at the moment. And uh, I hope things improve as much as they can for you. Just putting that away as well. Right, are they black as well? Have I put... Oh, I've got two. What, what am I doing? Hey dear, I never said I was a professional. <laughs> Can't even see for looking. Right, let's get these put away as well. I am sat right next to the window at the moment as well. So, yeah, I'm watching the clouds. There's no birds out. Oh no, I've just put the big ones in there. Oh no, I've just put a load of big ones in there. 
<sighs> Silly Liz. So now, yeah, you can probably see there's some big ones all sat in there. Do I sit and pick them out? No, was the cry. Uh, let me just see. I can maybe get some of them out. All right, I need my little thing with the picky, uh, sticky pickup tool on the end. And I think, although I've got two of them, I think they're both downstairs. So I will go and get them later. Uh, I'll have to go and get it. I won't move that anymore. And uh, yeah, I think if I just dot it in there, it'll pick up, obviously it'll pick up everything, but it'll pick up some of the bigger ones. So I can rescue some of them. So I will gently move that, not drop it anywhere. Oh my goodness. And uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm just uh, having a Liz moment. Everything just, um, it's not going very well. So that's the little bag with one black gem in it. <laughs> Oh dear right okay hello my name is liz uh, i show you how not to do things so you don't make the same mistakes as i do <laughs> right so we want some large round in silver oh dear and they are just the plain ones with no a b coating so let's see i'm sure we've got some yes we've got lots of those all the different sizes i just literally for each style um, and size i just have one of these nice little strong grip seal bags and um, these are very expensive and they've gone up even more so i don't suppose i'll be buying any more and um, they come in a bag of a thousand which well a box of a thousand which is why they're so expensive plus as well they are a very thick plastic and uh, they stand up really really well so you know whereas this is just really really thin this it just you can hear it crinkling it hardly creases at all um it is on recommendation from rebecca admore zest all of my storage system for drills is based on her storage system so you know i, I never claim that it was my idea um it's just i've tried lots of different things and uh, when I came across Rebecca's channel and she was showing how she does hers, I thought, oh, that looks really good. And it's a really easy way um, to sort of expand it because everything's in a little bag rather than having it in your pots like this. And you're going to end up with thousands of them, literally. You know, there must be quite a few hundred different styles and shapes and colours and everything in this one box. And this is getting too full. And as they're bringing out new things, then it's going to get fuller and fuller. So, yeah. But this is how I'm storing everything at the moment. Um, and we'll just see how we get on from there, really. And all I'm doing is just matching up with the ones I've got that are uh, here, that I've uh, just recently used, with the ones that I've got in my box and just uh, match them up. I am trying to... That's a teardrop and that's a marquee, so they're in a separate one. Uh, I'm looking at large rounds in like a palish gold, which you probably can't see. I wonder if it's going to be better with the lights off. I wonder if the lights are making, um, it's just like going off. Yeah, do you know, I think that's going to be better because I think the camera is adjusting rather than having the bright light. So we'll see how we go. Let me know what you think. Is it better with the lights on or the lights off? Because <laughs> you're the ones that are watching. So I'm looking for this one. Uh, right. If I do come across anything that um, on the canvas, mainly on canvases, it's very rare on special project ones where you get like a code number, then I am putting that code number on the bags. And eventually we may, may get a code for each one, but that could take hundreds of years. Anyway, so let's look. We're looking for this sort of pale gold middle round one. OK, is it that one? Ooh, that's a mixed bag that's got small ones and large ones in it. That one's just got small ones in it. See, this is the trouble sometimes. I mix up uh, two different sizes. I've done it on that one, but possibly I did that on purpose because I don't want to use bags for absolutely every single one because um, I may run out. 
and as I say, they are wildly expensive and I don't want to be buying another thousand. I'd sooner spend the money on diamond paintings. Right, so that is those. Those little round gold ones are definitely those, so they can go in this bag. And so we do have a number on this. I seem to be getting a lot of static at the minute. I don't know whether it's because I'm a hot bod at the moment um, or whether it's actually... I don't know. Well, it, it's coming in, in cold, so maybe it's these bags. I don't know. Anyway, pop that one away. So let's have a look at these. That's two different sizes in there. Oh, gosh, it's three different sizes in there. So, yeah, originally I used to like put all the rounds in one bag and then I was finding that if I wanted to look for one, it was too difficult to look for one. So, but I think they're those. Yeah, they are. They're those. So, I do sometimes, if I ever get five minutes, <laughs> what's the cry? Uh, sit and separate uh, out my gems. Uh, just sit with a pickup tool and a couple of little trays and just big one, small one, big one, small one and separate them out. I have done that in the past. I've not done it for quite a while, but uh, it's something that uh, I may do in the future. Okay, if the bags, the little grip seal bags are okay, I keep them. If there's those really thin ones that you practically have to tear off the top to get into them, I throw them away. Life is too short to be fighting with plastic bags. <laughs> All right, so I want teardrops and marquees. So in gold now, marquees is the next one. So let's have a look at these. So these are sort of the mid-size ones as well, and they're quite a, a darkish gold. I think that could be those. Okay, just check I haven't got any others. No, they've got an iridescent coating on, so they're a slightly different one. I think the lighting is definitely better with that really bright light turned off. But I've just got the one light at the side of me that's maybe just lighting things up a little better. So we shall see. It's all trial and error. I've not done this before. I've been wanting some proper lights, a proper setup so you can see what I'm doing, so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't always work out. Anyway, and now we want teardrops in the same sort of colour. So let's have a look in the gold teardrops. And we want the darkish colour. Could be those. Ooh, could be those as well. Two slightly different shades. Oh, I've got all those little teeny tiny ones. Yep, okay. So I'll just pop those back in there. I can't believe I did that with those blacks. Right at the beginning of the video as well. What am I like? Honestly. I'd be brain, I'd be dangerous. Right, yes. Yeah, so that's a little bit lighter colour. And that is the little bit darker colour, which is this one. Now, anything um, with a... Uh, uh, letter starting at the beginning is actually a craft buddy number and i did used to keep all my craft buddy ones separate with separate numbers and letters but then i was finding that if i wanted something or when i was kitting down um i was having to look in one place and then look in the next place so they are all now just muddled in um, and as i come across one then i just put them away in that bag uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Nearly, nearly. That's because I'm talking about it. Oh, dear. Yeah, so I think Craft Buddy, the standard small crystals, they all start with a zero at the beginning. Anything that's an AB has an AB at the end. Um, anything that's a marquee starts with an M. Anything with a teardrop um, starts with an S. Don't ask me why. You'd think it'd be T, but it's an S. And any of the larger rounds start with a Y. Why? <laughs> but that's the way they do it. So, you know, at some point, I'm hoping everything will just all come together. And if it doesn't, I've faffed about and just uh, had a bit of fun. Right, these are the large blacks. I'm going to keep that one out, though, because, uh, yeah, I need to do that jar. Uh, I'm not going to go downstairs now because... Hubby is asleep and I don't want to wake him up because he's not brilliant at the minute. Um, yeah, he was calling me Nigel last week. Um, I never really thought, well, I don't know what I'd look like as uh, as a man and what my name would be, but I never thought I looked like a Nigel. Um, and then yesterday he was asking me where I was. And I'm like, no, I, I'm Liz. 
no, 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 not you. I know who you are. Um, and he was convinced that I wasn't me. So, oh, do you know that's a new one? I haven't got uh, any in that size, in that colour. I've got the green ones there, but they don't have any facets on. So, goodness. Right, I've got a new one. Okay, now then, where have I just put them? Putting them away without putting them in a new bag. So, I do have... Um, well, a few bags left over, not a huge amount, but I do have some, so I can put uh, a few new ones in. But yeah, you'd think that you'd come to the end of it, really, wouldn't you, with all the um, gems and everything, but they just seem to be bringing out more and more. So is that definitely green? And that's large around yours. Okay, and then we're on to... Uh, blue is next, so we want large rounds in blue, and there's so many different shades of blue. Oh my goodness, I really do need to get another box, but I'm a bit loathed to move into another box, because I think, where is it going to end? And I, I'm just going to have 20 boxes of spare drills. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm looking for a turquoise blue in a medium size. So let us see what we have. There are all the darks. Um, I mean, I could separate these out into dark and light and turquoise, but then, as I say, where does it end? You can't keep going, really. Um, it just all gets a little bit much. Well, it does for me. And it's diamond painting time. I could be diamond painting while I'm doing this. <laughs> but then I won't be chatting to uh, you guys, so... Yeah, there's always a silver lining. Uh, it could be those. Mm, could be those. We'll double check. Otherwise, we might have another new one. Okay. See lots of blues. Blue seems to be a very popular colour. Uh, oh, right. Large rounds. There they go. Back into there. So, let's see. Are these the same as those? Yes, they are. So, we've had a bit of fun this week, uh, well last week, um, we had a lot of hospital appointments and um, it just didn't quite work out. Um, as I say, Hubby's not been brilliantly well last week and this week, although there is quite a few like cold viruses going around, so I'm just seeing how we're going, he may need some antibiotics, we might have to give the doctor a ring, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Right, blue marquees. Uh, yeah, so he was at, um, we went to the doctors for his iron injection for anemia on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And his blood pressure was through the roof. So they couldn't do it because apparently it can make it worse, this injection. So we had to rearrange uh, for Thursday. I've got a home testing kit, so, well, a home testing machine for blood pressure. So, you know, I'm taking all the readings and everything. And then Thursday morning, I got a call saying that the nurse is poorly. So um, could we rearrange? So we had to rearrange that. So that one was cancelled. And then we were supposed to be at the eye hospital on Friday, but with Hubby being that little bit unwell um, and the appointment was at 20 to 9 in the morning, uh, I just rang up and asked if we could possibly change it to another day. Um, and they're very good there. They're very understanding and she said, yes, of course. Um, you know, because I have trouble. If he can't help himself, as it were, to get in and out of the car, then, you know, it is... Not a huge man, but, you know, it's quite a bit of weight there for me to be moving and I can't always do it on my own. Um, so I decided, you know, made an executive decision. It is just a check-up um, on having his chip put in his eye that he did um, earlier on. I think it was about two, three months ago. I'm just looking for the whites. I know I have white in here, but they have disappeared. Purple. Red. Pink. Okay, who's hidden the whites? Shout if you can see them. That's all blue, miscellaneous. See, I used to have them here, but because I've got so many, I've had to swap about a bit. That's all silver and gold there. And that's yellow at the back. Ooh, what are those? Oh, they're all the old craft buddy ones. 
Right, okay, so white must be here then somewhere. So we've got pink, red, purple, orange. Oh! <laughs> this is all going so well. Right, let's put the purple away and then I'll go through them and see where I've put the white ones. Oh dear. I do get myself into some scrapes. Right. So, <laughs> trouble is these days, it's always on camera. Is that those? I think that is that colour. Right. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be uh, many purples uh, in, in things. You'd think purple was quite a standard colour because it, it is quite a lot of people's favourite colour these days. Uh, but uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of purples in uh, the diamond paintings. I don't the special drill ones, obviously. Uh, so yeah, okay. Right, so just bear with me while I just have a rummage uh, and find out where I have put my whites. Found them. The there, look. After the blacks comes the whites. <laughs> So I'm looking for teardrops. It looks like they're both the same. So I want white teardrops are there. Okay. And I know I've got those because, again, they are a very, very popular one. All right. And that will be the special drills done. Oh, dear. Right. That sky is looking really, really dark. Anyway, uh, we've been back to the doctors yesterday was it yesterday yes it was it was yesterday i don't even know what date is today to be honest um yeah you, you know those uh, signs that you've got with months on i could do with one that says day so i can change it every day so i know where i am <laughs> right so that's those done and put this box away my round abs Another crystal there. Yeah, I think that one's like a palish blue or purple. So I'm going to put those on one side as well. Do you know I do this and then I think, why have I put those on one side? Anyway. Okay, no, that is definitely looking at it next to those. That's definitely got like a bluey tinge to it. Okay. Right, so this is the black one. To know what colour an AB is, an Aurora Borealis, which is like an oil on water coating. Um, if you look at the base of it, then it tells you what the original colour was. So this is a black, and the blacks actually come with a green coating or a blue coating. And I think these are the blues, or are they the greens? Let me look. No, that's the blue look, and that's the green. Uh, he possibly on camera doesn't look quite so different. Yeah, you can see there's a lot more of the greeny colour in the green ones. The blue ones tend to be more of a midnight blue and black. So these are definitely green. So I'll pop these in here. Uh, any that I come across that have uh, a DMC number on them, then I do put the DMC number on the little tub so that, again, eventually I may end up with a set so I know what colours they are. Um, but otherwise, oh, look, don't you'll be escaping. You find that the ABs cost a little bit more than the normal drills as well. So I want to uh, corral them up and not let them escape. Right, so, oh, no, I think that's a, or is it? Is that a slightly different colour? No, that's definitely a slightly different colour, so it's not that one. Uh, oh, definitely not that one. Uh, I do like these in the little tubs as well that are see-through, because then you can just look down on them and see the colours. So actually, I think this one could be a new one, because it's definitely... Yeah, it is. It's a different shade to that one. It's slightly more bluey green, whereas that's more of a greeny green, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Yep, so we will put this up in this one. Okay, all my white ABs look are going to get used an awful lot this Christmas. I will be uh, playing about with those. Right, so that is those. 
Okay, I really need to put a label on that bottle. I have to dig my labels out. I just can't be bothered to move at the moment. Is that bad? <laughs> right, now then, these are the canvases. Um, so I may just do these. We'll see how we get on because I'm going to have to look up the number along with these because I didn't put the DMC number on the pots with these. I just put them into the number and letter that they were. So actually I might stick these um, onto a keychain. Oh, that's a whole white one look uh, that I didn't use because I substituted it out for ABs. That was uh, on the ones that I did. Um, they were Amazon ones, I think. Uh, right, skull frame. Nope, that's that one. That's that one. Right, this is the witch moon, so that's this one. So I think I'm going to take this off here and I'm going to stick it on this bag and then I'll just cut it off the bag to use it to when it goes into my log book so I can keep that all together there and what I've done as you can see these are really creased because they came on a really tight roll and um, so I've taken all the background off the cover sheet so when I put the sticker back on here it doesn't necessarily have to go exactly on that circle I can just put it on the cover sheet um, and then it'll just go in my folder for next year so yeah and then the wording will just go across the bottom let's just take that piece of sellotape off there as well so yeah I, oh uh, that wasn't very good Liz oh dear what am I doing so yeah I always keep the cover sheets to put the stickers back on because they are reusable and um, I've got a Christmas tree one that I've used now this will be the third year that I've put it out and it still just goes back on the uh, cover sheet and then just peels off, still sticky, and stays on the wall for the Christmas period. So, yay! <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the bag's gone for this one. And I'll pop that one. Oh, maybe I didn't have a bag for that one. Let me just grab this one then. I'll put those in there. And I'll put that on there. And that on there it just keeps all the bits together really so i know what i'm doing oh that'll be a fine thing i don't know the way i'm going today <laughs> you'll be lucky and again i've taken all of the uh, background like big sticker off so when i put everything back on here this is the trick-or-treat one i can just put it back in without having to match it into the little squares or the little spaces it came from so i don't know whether i'll do the 20 because we're getting quite long on this video already so i'll just do the uh, small one so again this is my rebecca admore zest uh, a storage system where every color of dmc has a little card with the number on it and then behind each card is a little bag with the number on it and i have two boxes uh, for rounds and two boxes for squares and the round ones have a round sticker on and the square ones have a square sticker on and they are all from uh, Rebecca Admore's SG. You can obviously print out your own and do your own um, and do your own system but this is the one that really works for me and does set uh, really really well and this needs thinning out again as well because some of these bags when I find that my bags are starting to sort of crumple at the corners, then I do like to then take some out so that they just lay flat. Otherwise, you know, the box is just getting far too full. And I can't imagine I'm ever going to use all of these. But it is handy if somebody says, oh, Liz, have you got any spare drills of this colour? And I can say, yes, I have. <laughs> right, I've just put moved that out of the way and then realised I do need it. So the first one is 310 which obviously 310 go in my 310 jar, which I can't do at the moment because um, the 310 jar has all those large that I need to pick off the top. So we'll do the next one, which is 720. So let's have a look for 720. Uh, Rebecca does have a shop, admorezest.com, if you do go and check it out. Um, and she does sell all these bits and pieces, which are lovely. That's where I get my stickers from as well. Again, you can print out your own, but I like having posh ones. And uh, 
Oh, these are very staticky. Come on, out you get. That's it. I have to start chopping up some little bits of dumbbell dry sheet and put them in the little pots to stop them from all jumping around all over. Right, so number three is 740. These are all little lovely orangey colours. I love that one out the way. Can't see very well here, can we? Let me get into camera shot, Liz. Oh, I've got a lot of these, look. So you will get slightly different shades sometimes um, because of the different dye lots. Uh, I always liken it to like wallpaper, you know, when you have to buy some wallpaper and you need two or three rolls. You always look at the like dye lot, the uh, printing uh, run so that you can match all the numbers up so that you get all the wallpaper the same colour. Uh, all right, so number four is 741, which is our exceptionally full bag. Oh, I don't know whether these will go in here, but we'll give it a go and then I'll have to sit and go through all these and empty them all out again. Oh, my goodness. All right, so 741. So, yeah, uh, number four. Five is seven five eight. Uh, Millie has had her hair cut. Um, her next haircut will be her Christmas one. Oh my goodness me! We have got her fancy dress costume because at the end of this month um, is our um, Scottish Terrier uh, rescue where that we belong and that we do quite a bit of. Well, I do quite a bit of fundraising for. Um, we will be having our little Christmas gathering, our Christmas party. Number six is 817. So is 817 in box one or is it in box two? It's in box one. Okay, it's a lovely red colour. So I'll let you see that when I get her dressed up. She absolutely hates it, but uh, hey ho. Uh, when I took her for a haircut, uh, Sarah, the lovely lady who uh, clips her for us, uh, Sarah's dapper dogs, and uh, they really are dapper when she comes out. She always takes a photograph of your little dog. Oh, this one's stuck in there. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Plenty spare. It's gone. <gasps> um, yeah, she always takes a photograph. Right. So I want the next box now. So I said, oh, you know, could she put um, Millie's little hat and Halloween uh, scarf thing on? It's box two. And she said, oh, yes, great. So, yeah, I'll put a photograph in. You may have already seen it. But, yeah, so she took uh, a photograph of Millie and you can just see Millie glaring at her. Like, it's really, really funny. I know I'm a bad mother. What can I say? <laughs> so we are seven is nine, three, eight. And, uh, yeah, so she's she got some really good photographs. But, yeah, Millie wouldn't even wear a collar that she didn't have to. Uh, Millie's our little Scottish terrier, hence Scotty Dog Crafts, if you're new here. Hello, thank you for coming along. Thank you for still being with me. And uh, hello to everybody that's coming back that will probably know Millie because I talk about her constantly. Uh, yeah, she's a big part of our lives, keeps us going, gets us up in the morning, early, really, really early. Oops, hubby's shouting that we've got a parcel, but then he said, oh no, we haven't thinking well i'm not expecting anything so which is a, a miracle in itself really <laughs> uh, between me and the uh, lady who lives opposite we seem to have parcels every day <laughs> well i like getting parcels <laughs> and a lot of them are bargains so yeah um Millie's looking all posh and sweet now and the first thing she does of course when she goes out is because we've had all this rain um, over the last week and obviously we've had Storm Doris, I had a brilliant name, Storm Doris uh, and uh, yeah she where the field that she goes on the great big puddle so the first thing she does is jump in the puddle and all her little skirt because we like to keep her a little bit scotty looking so she has a bit of a skirt comes in it's all wet and it's all got mud at the ends so yeah i will be bathing her again i try not to bath her too much because i don't think it's good for dogs to bath them too much and um, we do have special millie towels that we uh, couldn't well i constantly wash because she's always getting muddy and mucky and uh, yeah but yeah so it's like if you're gonna dress me up 
I'm going to give you some extra jobs to do. You're going to have to bath me. But, uh, she's really, really funny. The last time I gave her a bath, actually, um, I'd put water in the bath. I don't always, usually I just shower her down shampoo her. Um, and uh, I put water in the bath and she got out and she was swimming in the bath. <laughs> she's a real water baby. When she was a puppy, we used to take her to uh, the Lake District uh, here in the UK. And uh, yeah, she used to go swimming. The first thing she did as soon as she saw the water was just set off and swim. And it's like, no, come back. Uh, fortunately, she was on a lead. But yeah, I mean, I didn't even know she could swim. <laughs> Maybe she didn't, but she just thoroughly enjoyed it. And every time we went anywhere near water, she just took off and was just swimming away. Uh, you have to watch sort of Scotty dogs because they've got quite a heavy head. Um, and, you know, if you put them in a swimming pool or something that was quite deep, uh, well, every swimming pool would be deep to a Scottish terrier, wouldn't it, really? Even like a foot. Yeah, anyway. Um, because, you know, they can be top heavy. So a lot of people put like little life jackets and things on them. But, yeah, with this being a big lake, she just sort of floated anyway and off she went and she's just having a great time. I think she thought she was a duck. <laughs> right, 38.53 we want now. 43.45. Oh, look, there's my little card for uh, separate, separating out. <laughs> I've been looking for those. <laughs> 53, 50, 52, 53. Oh, dear. Yeah, I used to put it in where I'd taken the drill out from and then for whatever reason I sort of lost it. And yeah, there it is. They all turn up eventually. Right, so that's that one. That's... And then the last one, unlucky for some, number 13S, is a 3854. So the next one along. Ooh, there's quite a few different shades in that one, look. But yeah, I mean... What I think and what Rebecca has said on this as well is, you know, you can't keep a different bag for every single one. I know some people do. And wow, you've got more patience than I have. And I tend to think I've got pretty a good amount of patience. Um, yeah, you just end up with thousands of different ones. So if you just put anything that's numbered the same, unless you suddenly pick up a green and the colour that you've got is red, then obviously something's gone wrong. But if it's near enough that colour, put them in, because then you may find that when you've maybe run out of drills or you need another drill, um, you can just then match up to whatever colour you need from the ones that you've got. Hopefully you only need a few. Uh, if you're going to do like a heaven and earth designs or something, then obviously, you know, you're going to need to, um, then you're going to need a lot of all the same colour unless it's spread out. And then maybe it won't particularly matter if it's just a slightly different shade. But uh, you get what I mean. Anyway, so I've got these uh, glow in the dark oranges. As I say, I did try using them and then I realised that they are quite see through. And if the numbers underneath are dark, then you can actually see through them, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, so I'll have to try and work something out as to what to do with that. I suppose I could make, oh no, mind you, if I covered it over, that would be really faffy, wouldn't it? And then put some magic glue on. I'll have to think on that one and see. Um, unless you don't mind seeing the uh, number underneath. Uh, I'm just very picky, so yeah. Uh, right, so I need uh, to put those somewhere else. Yeah, I've got a few there, look, that I've got left from a project. I think this was the um, pumpkin project, actually. So what I will do, are they the same lid and thing? Yes, they are. No, they're not. They're actually slightly different jars. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I'll put those into there so they all match up in there now and they're glow so that needs to be that lid so i need to take oh the number off this one to put on there and i need to take this off here to put on the other one oh come on come on off you get hey you did it so that can now go in there yeah, these tubs you tend to find, well, these bottles, you tend to find that they're either um, 
a little bit taller and a little bit slimmer or a little bit smaller and a little bit fatter um, and I've got a lot of them muddled up now so yeah these are all my square crystals I've got square glow in the dark um, and then I've got quite a lot of the twinklers as well which are the AB coated uh, sort of crystal gems um, yes I've got glow in the dark squares just sort of the oddments but specials are all in there as well and I thought I had my quad cubes in there but I haven't so I'll have to find out what I've done with them <laughs> okay so that is that one kitted down I say I've just got the blacks to sort out from there and the whites need to go in my white jar and I'm pleased I found my little bit of cord yay and put my tray away over there and I'll do the cutting down on the other one at a later date because uh, yeah I tend to find if I do videos that are longer than an hour they take forever to upload to YouTube um, and sometimes they're like fault and then I have to start again and it can take a whole day to upload the video so yeah I try and keep everything just under the hour if I'm doing a long video these days Okay, well, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this little chat. Um, if you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. It does help me with YouTube um, and brings a few more people to the channel so we can all have a little bit more of a laugh. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for all the comments and questions and everything. Uh, keep them coming. I do uh, enjoy reading them. And uh, yeah, a lot of them do make me smile when you tell me your stories as well. I am thinking of like doing whipping chats and reading out some of them or all of them. Um, so let me know what you think. You know, would you mind if I read out your comments? Um, you know, or you could always put any comment don't read, read out. So, okay. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.